Hi, I'm Jenna Lane, your Bucks insider for SportstalkFlorida.com. Today is Monday, and it was the Bucks' fourth training camp practice and their second consecutive one in pads. And while the crowd was a lot lighter because of the fact that a number of people had to work, these guys, well, they didn't lighten their workload much at all. In fact, I thought the offense looked far better today than they did yesterday, especially the receiving corps. They had a number of noticeable drops yesterday, including some from Vincent Jackson, but I thought he was right on the money today, had a number of big catches, including one over the middle. I also saw Mike Evans as well. He got in there a number of times. No deep balls from Josh McCown to them, but a number of quick, effective strikes. They worked the perimeter of the field. They also, again, came across the middle. And I also saw the rookie Robert Haran get involved quite a bit today, too. And speaking of rookies, I thought Austin Safarian Jenkins had his best practice yet. I talked to Lovey Smith about him after practice, and he said, you know, he made some pretty big steps. Well, actually, he had to make some leaps to get up to speed with this team. He missed pretty much the entire offseason due to the fact that he had to complete some coursework up at the University of Washington, as well as heal from injury. So he had to play catch up quite a bit. I thought he had a very impressive effort today. But for me, the play of the day actually came on a trick play in which DeMar Dotson, that's an offensive tackle, <laughs> lined up in a fake field goal formation and ended up catching a touchdown. He had a pretty impressive touchdown dance afterwards too, and he put a spin move in there as well. Oh, that was on field goal. You know, we had a little, it's called fire. When, when they call fire, 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 it tells the, you know, the wing players to get out and go and get ready to catch the ball. So, you know, that, that, that spin move, just, that, that just came by nature. I don't, know, I don't know where it came from, but, you know, my, something made me just say spin, and I spin. Now, on defense, the play of the day for me was an interception by Anthony Gator off of Mike Kafka. You remember Gator. He was released this offseason by the team. Well, he was just brought back today because of injuries to both Rashawn Melvin and Alteron Verner, which Verner was not practicing today, and we were told by Lovey Smith that that is because of a hamstring injury. He is day-to-day -day with that. Nothing too serious, but Lovey Smith had said that when they released Gator, they told him it's pretty much just a numbers game, so stay ready. And in this case, well, he did, and you saw how that worked out. Now tomorrow, the guys are going to be off. It's their first day off of training camp. Got in a lot of hard work these past four days, so it's well-deserved. But the coaching staff, on the other hand, this just goes to show you how hard these guys work. They'll be back in action. I guess Lovey Smith says breakfast starts at 630. So if you want to come in the building over here and join them, you're more than welcome to. Stay tuned for more Bucks training camp coverage. We'll be right back in action before you know it. You can check it all out on SportstalkFlorida.com. With Sports Talk Florida, I'm Jenna Lane.